Hello guys, welcome back, and today with KK we're going to be presenting you with a new LP called Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. But today we have a special surprise for all you special viewers out there. I have a friend of mine called Sex Dude Malloy. Say hi, Sex. Hey guys, thanks for having me on, KK. No problem. I just love my bombs and exploding levels. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so today we're going to be starting off no, not on easy mode. We're going to be starting on regular <laughs> mode, and we're just going to pick a fresh start level. Yes. So today in uh, this game, you're pretty much starting off in what you call a tutorial level. Um, just explain the basics. This is just like any other Super Mario game. Uh, there are enemies just like Goombas, Koopa Troopas, and stuff like that, and a uh, good old power up such as mushrooms, fire flowers, and stars. But this is one of the first, actually, if not the first side scrolling level where you can actually go front, uh, like forwards and backwards in the game. There's all sorts of uh, different, you know, stuff like dungeons and whatnot, but coins in this game are also a very interesting thing to explain, because coins usually when you collect a hundred... Hey, Piranha Plant, what's happening? Uh, usually when you collect a hundred coins, you get a health of one up, but in this case, we need our hearts! Yes. Yay! And sadly, we don't have awesome music for the star, but uh, whatever. Ah, and a save bell. Feel free to say anything, Sax. It's... It's no problem. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You're in, you're in the middle of explaining stuff. I'll let you finish first. Uh, fire flower. We get a uh, we get a stick on our head. Yes. Uh, sadly, with the, uh, I it took me a while to figure this out. But you need to do like I guess you can call spin jumps on these to break them on top like that. Um, but with these, you actually need to use the fire flower ability because they're solid blocks. Bam! Oh, that got rid of them pretty quickly. Uh, it's. I love the animations in this, and considering it's such an old game for the Game Boy, it, it's. Even though it's green, yes, I know it's green, but I still really like the look of it. Um, and surprisingly, even though it doesn't look like it has that great, you know, textures and stuff, it has. It took up a lot of space on the Game Boy console in terms of uh, space, four megabits to be exact. And we're already at the goal. Dun dun dun. dun, dun. Ooh, that, that was fast. Well, yeah, most of these levels are fast, and here's the bonus stage where we can grab all sorts of good goodies. Damn it. I know, fail. Yeah, whatever. So this is actually where we're going to uh, get to the real nitty-gritty good stuff of the game. There's actually uh, six worlds that you can explore f freely, and you can access them at any time you really want to. Um, but we're going to start with the easiest one, and that is... It's a nice little tree called the Tree Zone. So much fun stuff, so many animals, and so much nature. Oh. Tree Zone, Act 1. Here we go! <laughs> yes! Don't you just... And for the first level in the game, like, really first level, uh, this is more like the outskirts of a swamp or a... Well, whatever you want to call it. Froggies! Uh, each world also has its characteristic enemies to them, like the frogs. As you can see, there's also... Uh, I guess you can say armadillo. Hey, that's interesting. A secret. Oh, hello there. Uh, come on, Mario. You know you want. Psh. Mario is just full of a uh, failure today. Apparently, he wants to grab his one-ups, but frogs, he can't. coin blocks, secrets. Yeah, actually, you want it? It's yours, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the clouds in the background, if you noticed, looked like they were pointing upwards. If you if you hadn't noticed, I wanted to say that. It's just, yeah, it just they do a little weird, bit, in my opinion. Hmm. Um, so yeah, nothing to explain. Most of the levels are very basic. Whoa, that was interesting. And I haven't mentioned this, the bells. You may be wondering what the heck those are. Well, those are actually your checkpoints. Uh, there's two in each world, usually. Hey, Dragonfly, what's up? What's happening? Um, mm, oh, I see those nice. bells and I kind of get Tails Sky Patrol flashbacks a little bit. <laughs> they, they, actually, the, now that you miss it, they do kind of remind me of that. Um... But yeah, this level, for the first level, really is very simple. And there's also this bell here at the very end of each world, or almost every world. And these are, if you hit the bell, this is like an ex this gives you the option of the special mini game rather than just going through the regular exit. But there's two mini games, and this is the other one. This one's actually so really bell's funny. So kind of like the upper route at the yeah. end of the levels in Super Mario exactly. Land 1, sort of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we get another one up. I really want to show you guys the carrot. K 
carrot head anybody. Um, but that's my favorite ability. That's one of the new power-ups they added in the game. So what do we have in level 2? Well, we're actually in the core of the tree. Now, you may be wondering what the heck that is, and what the hell those are. Uh, but I just call them flying ghost fish cows. Yes. Whatever. Ghost cows! For the win. Um, and also, f for the inside of the tree, this looks more like... J oh, hello, blowing up Buzzy Biddle. But this looks more like jelly, or gel rather, than sap. I mean, in my opinion, at least. And it's funny because the characteristic lets you kind of like float in it, sort of, but you do kind of... Oh, bam, bam. Kind of do kind of go down and swim in it, sort of, ish. Whee! Spelunking down in the tree. Ah, uh, and here we go. This is kind of an area where you need to get to the secret exit. Carrot wings! I need my Red Bull, don't I? <laughs> and with this ability, you can actually, if you continually uh, press A, you can actually float for very long periods of time, like such. Um, yeah, that was most of the basics in the game. That's uh, Now we're just going to get to the really core of it and just beat all the levels. Um... That's another thing in this LP for all you. So rabbit ears are the precursors of the wing cap. Yes, yes. Oh, here's the normal exit for all you viewers out there. But we want to get to the secret exit. Reason being is that uh, in this LP, like I wanted to mention earlier, I want to show every single level, or at least try to. Okay, that that buzzy bill looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Boom. Okay, so here's the secret exit. It's very tough to get because you actually need the carrot. To get their carrot rings, whatever. You know what? They look more like sticks on his head than wings. <laughs> ah, and here's secret level number one. Not every world, by the way, uh, has a secret level. Some actually even have two. Whee! And I love the music in this game. It's just. Oh, dang it. Now I have to take the fire flower. Okay. Uh, most levels here are very easy. Some are a little bit sidewinding. But I, for the music in the game, it just makes it a little more enjoyable, really. It, it's kind of upbeat, too. Okay, mm what else? I mean, oh, that's another thing. Um, in this game, compared to some of the other Mario games, this is probably one of the hardest games to control Mario, like, back in the day. Because his controls were so flimsy, really. Maybe that's maybe that's mm. why they have such stick-like figures, ish. Well, then again, Mario's fat, so <laughs> Mario's fat. So with uh, we go back to this world because what happens is that every time you go to a secret level, you can only access that secret level once. Well, technically, you can more times, but you have to go to the secret level, the secret exit of the previous level in order to access it. Mm -hmm. ah. And actually, when you mm. go to the oh. Dang spikes. If you, uh, mini Mario. Uh, every time you go to a secret level and go through a secret exit level, such as that, then you actually have to redo the previous level to continue onwards. Weep! <laughs> Their death animation just looked silly. Bam. I'm surprised Mario didn't die from falling that far. Wee. Ah. Uh, Wee. Flying high, flying over the spikes. Oh god, I better press I. Okay, good. And they're very generous in this game for actually providing you with one ups, by the way. Uh, anything else to commentate besides the dreary, dark, murky look? Mm, not at the moment. Now that, now that I think of jelly. I'm I'm, sh I'm sure something will come up that I can talk I, about. I was thinking of peanut butter and jelly for a second. Actually, peanut butter and gel. Mm. Mm. Three up. It's not the same as a one up, no. no. So now here we actually can pick one of two levels, but we're going to do both anyway. Let's go to ants first, because I hate bees. Oh, this level. Uh, this is... You just have to go up. That's all you have to do, really. Um, I would explain the names of the enemies, but I really don't know their names, per se. I mean, if I did research on the game, that I would do, but... You have some interesting... Like, if you pl uh, interesting enemies, like if you played Super Mario World, then you'll notice some of the 
like looks of these enemies look really similar to some of those. But yeah, <laughs> I, the leaves look so weird. They look more like nuts, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they do a little bit. Coke. I mean, I look at the the leaf patterns in the background, and I'm just thinking, why is this tree full of almonds? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I was I was thinking coffee beans. beans. So, no, cocoa beans. Yes, it's a cocoa bean tree. So that's where Mario gets all his chocolate. Uh, <laughs> uh Mario hangs around tree zone too much, apparently. Oh, a uh, very funny fact. This this I do know. Oh man, we're already here. The this world, like Super Mario World 2, actually happened right after Super Mario World 1. Uh, did I say world? Wow, I'm just retarded today. Yeah. And I'm so retarded, I got a fire flower, which I didn't want, because the carrot is so much better. Two sticks are better than one. No, we're not going to the boss yet. Um, oh, the B level, I hate the B. But anyway, I wanted to say that uh, Super Mario Land 2 came after Super Mario Land 1 right right away. And this is actually all of Mario's, like, actual kingdom. His world, actually. And Wario just took it over. That's that's the objective of the game, to beat Wario uh, at your castle, because he stole your castle. Oh, I hate those skeleton bees. You know why? Because they are undead. They come back to life, even if you kill them. So evil. Look. Of course, they're undead. You can't kill them. The only way to kill ah! them. Pure... <laughs> <laughs> Throw potions at them. <laughs> or, or, or revive. I'll revive you. <laughs> Silkworms, all sorts of weird creatures. You can't kill those either. The the, the whatever, thwomp bees, uh, I like to call them. Okay. And the music here in this level is also kind of creepy. Ah, the eyes. Those eyes. Ah, more undead. I don't rem if I swear if there was actually undead bees in the world, I'd probably be scared as crap from them. I mean, wouldn't you? Oh, really? Just a little, if there was undead anything, just walking about. The <laughs> ah. I mean, but bees in general, you, bees are already hard enough to kill. Mm. You have undead bees? Oh my god! They're just evil. Haha. -ha. Okay, oh, and these enemies, this is the only time you actually see them, but they are like eggs. Or whatever. Their faces are also so creepy. <laughs> it's just, no, no, no. And actually, as a fun note, this level has the most stars in it. There's like three stars in the level. At least two. Uh, but most of them are just pointless. Hey, how the heck do we get up there? Eh, never mind. Dun. And here we go at the boss. Now, I haven't mentioned this earlier, but every l zone has a boss. And in order to access your castle, whoa, that was close, you actually have to um, collect the golden coins that each boss contains. Or update, or whatever, I don't know. Mm. And once you have all six, then you can access your castle. Ow! One of the only enemies in the game that actually helps you. That's so funny. I happen to have a flat head, and I want like to help you out. The like foothold is a Mega Man, so they don't shoot. Yes. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh ah, God! Ah, ah, ah. Oh God! That was really close. I hate these clouds with a burning passion of a thousand suns. <laughs> uh, you cried me on that. Didn't you? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. <laughs> oh, that was bad. I know that was bad. <laughs> But, uh, at least we got wings! At least we have our Red Bull. Yes. I don't know what's with the hype of Red Bull. Actually, I've only drank it once, and, uh, it didn't taste that good, in my opinion. Then again, I'm not much of a fan of energy drinks either. Yeah. Whoa. I'll take cordial and lemonade any day. Exactly. Minute made lemonade, yes. Hello, eggy. Bird. Ugly bird. Ugly ducking. Whatever. This boss is actually really simple. All you have to do... Is he comes at you like a bro, and you jump on his head. And if you have the wings, you can just hover around him and kill him in three hits. Dead. What the heck? Did you see that? I think I just hit something in the top of the level. That was warp. <laughs> like an invisible yeah. ceiling yes. or something. Invisible ceiling my butt. Oh. <laughs> invisible ceiling lies. The tree was all a lie. <laughs> no. 
Okay, so that ends it for this episode. And for each episode, we're going to just do one zone. I think that'll be really simple. So, without further ado, we're going to end the episode right here in lovely tree zone music style. Yes. So thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more scenes of the next episode of Super Mario Land 2 with me, KK, and... Saxter26. So, without further ado, good night, guys.